Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another day. Mark Corp, brought to you by Mike Bjork. Today is Wednesday, June 10th. Hey, we got uh, like no economic news with these, so it's kind of a quiet day today. So the uh, stock market's way up today so far. It's uh, actually up over 200. The Dow's up over 200 so far today. It's kind of correcting a little bit. Um, so a lot of it has to do with uh, some news that came out uh, with the weaker U.S. dollar and higher energy price. So the gasoline is, uh, or oil price, price for barrel of oil went up. So about 61 and change per barrel right now. And then the dollar dropped a little bit because uh, there's some comments made by the Bank of Japan's uh, Prime Minister based saying that this is kind of uh, the weakest that their currency will get to the yen. So that kind of weakened the dollar to the yen and such. So right now, the dollar is at dollar thirteen to the euro and about 123, uh, 123 yen to the dollar. So uh, so dollar's weakened a little bit again. So it's uh, that's just, this could be a good thing. The, the reason why the stock market likes this is primarily because they kind of contribute a stronger dollar to a weaker first quarter. And they figure with a little bit of weaker dollar, this will help out with our exports and kind of get the economy moving. So this is why the uh, stock market is kind of moving a little bit forward um, and taking off a little bit more than, um, probably more than what they really uh, should be. Uh, as a result, bond market still hasn't hit bottom. We keep going down and down and down. Uh, so we haven't hit bottom. So as a result, rates are climbing. Uh, so if you're looking to refinance or looking to buy, um, it, you know, if you're satisfied with today's pricing, jump at it right now because we don't know um, how low this is going to get. This, right now, we, as soon as we think we have a bottom, it looks like it keeps coming down lower. There's no logic behind uh, what's happening to the bond market right now. Uh, this should be a lot more settled than what it is, uh, but unfortunately money is being pulled out in the bond market and uh, rates have been kind of climbing. So until we probably see uh, the Fed actually taking uh, action and starting to implement uh, the uh, raising of the interest rates, probably won't see uh, that bottom until we see that, or at least some stability. Uh, we'll probably get an improvement uh, once that happens uh, with the bond market. But until that happens, which may not happen until closer to September, that's more of my opinion. Uh, we're, next week, the Fed will be meeting. Uh, there will be the first time they'll discuss the possibility of raising rates. Uh, chances of them raising it at that meeting most likely won't happen. But uh, most projections are happening around, are uh, projected to be in the September uh, time frame. All right, folks. Uh, not good for the bond market uh, or interest rates, but good for the stock market. So hopefully uh, they're happy. But anyways, uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Remember, we have weekly jobless claims uh, tomorrow. And then I believe we also have retail sales this week, which would be uh, on Friday. So that would be kind of a big one this week as well. Have a great day. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.